I'm Jake with another Holland Built powered by Sankut Sen. Today we're going to get down and dirty with a home address sign, so let's get into it. For the street sign, we don't actually care about any specific dimensions. So we're going to have an overall dimension that I kind of copied off the old sign, and then I'm going to space it and have a back plate and a front plate, so there's going to be two parts of this design. They're going to be spaced a half inch apart by standoffs that we're going to add in the hardware section. So let's go ahead and go to the CAD. We're going to start by just drawing an arbitrary rectangle and assigning some dimensions. Um, this sign is about 10 inches by 6 inches, so we're going to start there. Next, I just want to soften these edges so we don't have these sharp points on our sign. It'll look a little bit better cosmetically. We're going to assign those to be a half inch in radius. And then lastly, we're going to add in our through holes. And this is going to be the backer plate to start. And we, what we want is these are going to be, the backer plate is going to contain the standoffs. And the cool thing about Senka Sen is that we automatically resize the holes to match the hardware that you select. So we actually don't need to have any critical dimensions here. We just need to have a ballpark that's going to remind us that the 1032 standoffs are going to be going in this section. Typically what I'll end up doing is using the through hole dimension, which is going to be 205. We're going to put those and make this equal on all four corners. Now that we're done there, we're going to go ahead, create our sheet metal flange. Whenever I'm doing stuff, I typically try to use sheet metal. And now we have our backer plate. Let's go ahead and assign our thickness. We're going to do 63 aluminum, which is going to be the 5052. And we're ready to go there. What I want to do is we're just going to do an offset plane off the space, um, half an inch. This is just going to kind of model what we're going to be doing. The standoffs are actually going to be what we're going to use to separate the two plates. So this plane is kind of mimicking that same setup. So the nice thing is we want to have the exact same thing that's behind it. So what I'm going to do is do a projection of that back plane onto the surface. So now we have, if I roll it up sideways, I have a projection of that back plate exactly the same on the front plate now. So the only thing we actually need to add now is the letter or the numbering that's going to go through. So we're going to create text, draw our box, and we're going to, our address number is 1230, made it easy for us. And we need to change this to our stencil format. Let's increase the size, about three, that looks pretty actually good. We're going to center this. Actually, we need to shrink that up. Okay. That looks great. So actually, if we go back in that sketch now, what I can do is assign the center of this all the way through. We're going to make this a construction line. And if I center here, Okay, so now we have that nice and centered. I can do an extrude. We can pull, actually we're gonna do a sheet metal. We're gonna do a flange, pull this through. We're gonna do the same um, aluminum 63. I'm gonna create one more sketch on this plane and I'm gonna extrude our numbers, or our project our numbers up on that surface. Now we're going to pull this through, and 
we can hide our sketches. And now what we have is a one, two, three, zero sign. We're gonna have two different plates. We're gonna powder coat the rear plate black to have a good contrast of the lettering going through. So let's go ahead and create our DXFs now. We'll put them on the website and we're gonna go through how we're gonna add that hardware and powder coating. Finish. All right, we're gonna drag and drop right on the Think It Sends website. We can actually do both phone. That's my mistake. So on the front sign, we're gonna be doing the 63 thou aluminum, and we're gonna just have it deburred so it has a nice finished look to it. So we're gonna add metal. Aluminum, we're gonna do 5052, 63 thousandths. And deburring is already selected, so we're good to go there. We're gonna add that to our cart. Um, next, we're gonna add more drawings. So we're gonna go back to our second piece, uh, which is our signs back. We're gonna add that to cart. We're gonna do the same material type, so 5052, 63 thousandths material. Um, but right here, where we're gonna add whole operations and we're gonna add finishing. So going off of hole operations, it's gonna recognize all four of the holes that are in our back. We're gonna select hardware, and we're gonna open up our catalog. Again, I was gonna use 1032 standoff, half an inch in depth. So we're gonna scroll down until we see 1032 and a half inch, so right here. We select this and apply. We can see here now we have a top or bottom view. And if we roll up on our 3D view, can actually see our standoffs are now in our feature. So if I roll it on its side, I can select top or bottom based off of that and you can see the hardware flips. If we go back to our 2D, this is an inserted um, from orientation and so the hardware is going to be inserted from the top going through and the, our screws are going to be actually coming from the opposite side. So it's important to make sure on this part, it's a mirror image. It doesn't actually matter which side is top or bottom, but on your part, it's good to see that 3D preview and know that top or bottom means that it's the inserted from side. So now that we have that stipulated, we're gonna go back to top just for cosmetic reasons. All four of them are good, add whole operation. Next, what we're gonna do is add powder coating. So we're gonna select our service, powder coating, and then you can see all the different colors that we offer currently right now. We're gonna go ahead and do a gloss black and add that powder coating. So we can see here also now, our preview has turned black just to make sure that we understand that we added a color to that. And we can also see it here. It's also important to note that we will have thread protection, but the standoffs themselves will have powder coats on the outside of the standoff, but not on the internal threads. Lastly, we're gonna add to cart and view cart so now we can see our two different um, parts our front and our back and we're ready to order so let's go ahead and take this to the manufacturing floor And just like that, we got a down and dirty address sign. For more information on hardware, check out the links below. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.